Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and uh, today we are going to talk about intelligence. If you know, don't know what that is, it's basically when you start writing something and the program is helping you out with the syntax and the functions. So it's easier to write your code. Uh, Power BI does not have intelligence uh, yet for Power Query. So uh, I've so online somebody that actually had done this in Notepad++. So I will show you today how to do it. Even if you don't write a lot of M code manually, this is quite nice to have, even just for modifying or just commenting out stuff. So make sure you stick around. So here is the blog post. Uh, this is uh, La Lars Schreiber. Mm. Hopefully this is pronounced okay. And uh, this is his blog. And this is something that he published quite recently, uh, how to get your own Power Query editor using Notepad++. I actually saw this on Twitter and I thought it was a brilliant idea. So I will walk you through the steps and then I will post a link to his blog post so you can get the links and the notes and all that stuff. Um, we are going to use a software called Notepad++. And for those of you that perhaps don't know what that is, it's basically a text editor. It is completely free. I use it all the time. So it is really, really useful. It helps you with a, a lot of stuff. But we are going to install, configure IntelliSense in these Notepad++ programs. So you need to download this first, okay? And uh, I will post again a link to Lars' blog post and he has a link here to Notepad++, so don't worry about that, okay? Here is a, a really nice example of what IntelliSense is. So if you follow through the entire video or the entire blog post, this is what you will achieve. Okay, so let's get started with Notepad. I have already opened it and it's in here. The first thing we need to do according to Lars blog post is we go here to language and define your language. Once we are here, we will go to create new and then we call it M. Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to do is to add this keyword list. And Lars is providing a list at the end of his blog post. So let's go there and check it out. So let's see if we go to the end of the post, what he said it would be. Here we have all the, um, all the files that we need. So just click on them and download them and it will work perfect. So let's go back to Notepad now. So here we have the list. We're going to copy all these and go back to Notepad. And in here, we just paste it and click on prefix mode. Now you have the option to put a style on that. I am actually going to use the same that he used. So is a dark blue. Now, the next thing we need to do is to click here, which is basically saying don't ignore a case because Power BI does not ignore. I mean, you cannot misspell in Power Query. So we have to click on that. And now we need to add some more keywords because the list of keywords he gave us is not complete. So let's add the same keywords he did on his blog post. So here we put let and in. Here we put each, if, then, else, try, otherwise. And then here we put table date shared sections and prefix mode for these ones. 
Now let's configure commenting in Power Query. So allow folding of comments. This is the way to comment in Power Query. This is how it starts and how it closes. And now let's do the style, which color it should be. Green. I don't know if you have to do it in both. Let's do it in both and see what happens. And green. Okay, and now the final step is the limiters. And in his blog post, he has actually given us those to copy and paste. So in here, some here you see, here we can just copy paste. So make sure you come to his blog post and copy this. So we go in there, we copy that and now and or not. Okay, so there is no save button, so just close and then it's already saved in there. Now we're going to add parameter hint and help text using a XML file that he actually created for us. And it is also on the bottom of the page to download. Okay. Now, according to his blog post, we need to save the XML file he gave us in here. Okay. So we go in here uh, where we have uh, the APIs for the notepad. And we save the M file. Make sure it's called M. He clearly mentioned that in the blog post. They, they have to be called the same as you name it in the beginning. Otherwise, uh, Notepad will not recognize which one it is. And now the only thing we need to do is to restart uh, Notepad and choose M as language. Let's try it out. We close Notepad and we just add it to Notepad again. Here we have the M language. So now we should write something smart, perhaps. Okay, so what I'm going to write is, do you know the calendar that I am sharing with you? That I have it on the normal Notepad open on the normal notepad. So let's write something to see how this thing works. Okay, so let's see. We write let and then source list dates and now invoke function source. How cool is that? Huh? M much easier to write. Date. I mean, I'm sure the Power BI team will eventually add this to, to Power Query, but until then, this is fantastic. Duration days. Date, time, don't misspell. Eh? How cool is this? So I guess if I copy this and you see, it will make your code much more readable. And now you can start adding comments. So this is... Um, generating a list of dates dates from 2014 oh, 07 well you get the the idea right so this is this is fantastic thank you Lars for sharing this uh, absolutely awesome I'm I have it in now configure it's working great thank you very much for that it's 
really good. I'm hoping you like it. Again, I am going to share the link to his blog post so you can follow the steps the same way as I did. And uh, I hope you install this and enjoy. Okay, so this is all for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you Lars for sharing it with us. It was a really, really cool trick. Um, if uh, you like the video as usual, you can uh, let me know by liking it or sharing it. I appreciate that. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe. I publish Power, Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.